Hello students, we will continue our discussion of chapter 3 which is trigonometric functions of compound angles. We have already seen the theory, now let us go to the addition formulae. So in module 2, I will discuss with you addition formulae. Let us have a look at these addition formulae. To start with, let us look at sin of a plus b. Sin of a plus b is given as sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. Likewise, sin of a minus b is given as sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. Now, you will wonder how to remember these formulas. So, just see the two formulas have something in common. If you see the two formulas have sin a cos b, which is common to both. Likewise, cos a sin b is common to both. Now, let us understand the sin concept also. If you observe the sin in both left hand side and right hand side is same which is plus for the first one and minus for the second one. If I have to summarize these two formulas, we can say sin of a plus minus b is equal to sin a cos b plus minus cos a sin b. So this is how we can remember the first two formulas. If I have to repeat again sin of a plus minus b is equal to sin a cos b plus minus cos a sin b. Now let us look at the cos formula cos of a plus b is equal to cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. Likewise, cos of a minus b is equal to cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. Again, if I have to remember these formulas, again you observe we have something in common. The two formulas have cos a cos b common to them. Likewise, they have sin a sin b also common to them. Now let us observe the sin. If you observe that the signs are opposite, that is, if there is a plus on the left, there is a minus on the right. Likewise, if there is a minus on the left, there is a plus on the right. Now, let us summarize these two formulas. We can write this as cos of A plus minus B is equal to cos A cos B minus plus sin A sin B. Cos of A plus minus B is equal to cos a cos b minus plus sin a sin b. We are done with sin, we are done with cos. Now let us look at tan. Tan we will look into in a different perspective. Let us just see that. We have tan of a b. Students, I am not writing anything right now. Let us just have a look at it. Tan of a b is equal to, you have tan a tan b upon 1 and tan a tan b again. Likewise, if I take the second formula, same tan of a b and on the right hand side we have tan a tan b upon 1 and tan a tan b again. Now, I want you to observe something here students. If you see there is tan a common to both the formulas, there is tan b common to both the formulas, there is 1 common to both the formulas and there is tan a tan b common to both the formulas. So, the two formulas are almost the same as of now or I can say they are the same. So, how do we distinguish or what is the difference between the two? If you have a plus on the left hand side, you will have a plus in between tan A and tan B on the right hand side. Likewise, if I have to ask you what is opposite of plus, very well it is minus and this minus comes in the denominator of the formula. So, tan of A plus B is tan A plus tan B upon 1 minus tan A tan B. Likewise, if I have to look at this formula, so I will put a minus in between A and B on the left. So what will happen to this minus? This minus will come to the RHS. So we will have numerator of RHS as tan A minus tan B and what is opposite of minus? It is plus. So this plus is supposed to come in the denominator. So the formula is tan of A minus B is equal to tan A minus tan B upon 1 plus tan A tan B. Now, let us summarize these two formulas. In a nutshell, these formula can be written as tan of A plus minus B is equal to tan A plus minus tan B upon 1 minus plus tan A tan B. If I have to repeat again, tan of A plus minus B is equal to tan of A plus minus tan of B upon 1 minus plus tan A tan B. We have already seen the formulas. Now, let us test our graphs on these formulas in the form of a small test, in the form of match the column. You have to match the left hand column with the right hand column. 
the left hand column contains these four formulas the right hand column now the right hand column has these four which you have to match with the left hand column i'll give you 20 seconds for which you will have to match the left hand column with the correct answer in the right hand column Let us see the correct answers now. For the first one, sin A plus B, the fourth option which is sin A cos B plus cos A sin B is the correct answer. For the second one, cos A minus B, it is cos A cos B plus sin A sin B. Third one, sin A minus B, the correct answer is sin A cos B minus cos A sin B. So obviously for cos of A plus B, the only option which is the second one which is cos A cos B minus sin A sin B is the correct answer. Now, let us proceed further into solving some sums based on these formulas. Now we will see sums based on the trigonometric function values using addition formulas and standard values. In this I will take type 1 which is basic numericals. Let us just see what do we have in store for us. The question goes like this. It says without using the trigonometric tables find the values of we have first cos 75 degrees cos 15 degrees, sin 105 degrees and tan 105 degrees. Cos 75 degrees is what I need to find first. So let us just start the sum finding cos 75 degrees. So if I have to solve, we will first solve for cos 75. Our objective is writing or expressing 75 degrees as sum or difference of two angles. Now 75 we can write as sum of two numbers in many possible ways. Some of them are in front of you like 74 plus 1, 76 minus 1, 70 plus 5, 60 plus 15, 82 minus 7. The problem is they are not useful to us because the trigonometric function values for both are not known to us. We don't know how much is sine 70, we don't know how much is cos 15. Now what to do? Some more combinations of 75 are possible. So what about 45 plus 30. So if we see 45 plus 30, it is useful to us because the trigonometric functions of these values are known to us. So we can say 75 as 45 plus 30 makes sense. So let us take 75 as 45 plus 30. So we get cos of 45 plus 30. Now if you know or if you recall, you can understand this is in the form of cos A plus B where we can say A is 45 degrees and B is 30 degrees. Cos A plus B formula is cos A cos B minus sin A sin B. Again, in place of A, I will write 45. In place of B, I will write 30 degrees. So using these values and the formulae, what do I get in the next step? We get it as cos 45 degrees, cos 30 minus sin 45 degrees, sin 30 degrees. Now we need to know the values of cos 45, cos 30, sin 45, sin 30. You don't have to worry, we have it here with us. Cos 45 degrees and sin 45 degrees, it is known to us, it is 1 upon root 2. So let us write 1 upon root 2 in place of cos 45 and in place of sin 45. Likewise, cos 30 is known to us as root 3 by 2 and sin 30 is known to us as half. So let us write them in their respective places, we will get in the next step root 3 by 2 in place of cos 30 and in place of sin 30 we get half. Now if you observe the denominator is 2 root 2. The denominator is common to both the terms. So if the denominator is common in the next step I can have a common denominator. The numerator will be root 3 minus 1 and as I said the denominator will be 2 root 2. This is what we need to do in this particular sum. On the same lines we have one more sum to be solved which is cos 15. Let us just see how to solve cos 15. The idea is same, express 15 degrees as sum or difference of two angles. So what are the possibilities? We have again many possibilities, likewise we can say 14 plus 1, 16 minus 1, 10 plus 5, but they are not useful. Why? Because we don't know the trigonometric functions of both values. Then what to do? So what about if I were to say 45 minus 30 in this case, 45 minus 30 is useful as trigonometric functions of these values are 
known to us. So we can say 45 minus 30 works for us. So in place of 15, now what will I do? I'll write the right hand side of this particular equation, which is cos 15 degrees, will be written as cos of 45 minus 30. Now this is in the form of cos of A minus B and the formula for cos of A minus B is cos A cos B plus sin A sin B where I will use in place of A 45 degrees and in place of B I will use 30 degrees. Now let us just apply this. So we will get cos 45 degrees into cos 30 degrees plus sin 45 degrees into sin 30 degrees. Again we need to know the values of cos 45 degrees, so cos 30 degrees, sin 45 degrees and sin 30 degrees. Let us just that. Cos of 45 degrees and sin of 45 degrees both 1 upon root 2. So in their respective places let us write 1 upon root 2. Likewise cos 30 root 3 by 2. So in place of cos 30 I write root 3 by 2 and in place of sin 30 I write half. Again if you see the denominator is same which is 2 root 2. So in the next step we can have a common denominator and add the numerators which will give us root 3 plus 1 in the numerator and the denominator will become 2 root 2. So that is how we solve for cos of 15 degrees. Now we have been asked one more question in this which is sin of 105 degrees. Now you have understood in the previous two examples that we need to write 105 degrees as sum of two angles such that we know the trigonometric functions for those. So now it is understood that we will write 105 as sin of 60 plus 45 where I will write in place of A 60 degrees and in place of B I will write 45 degrees when we use the formula of sin of A plus B which is sin A cos B plus cos A sin B. So let us apply in place of A 60 degrees, in place of B 45 degrees on the right hand side and write that in the next step. So we get sin of 60 degrees cos of 45 degrees plus we get cos of 60 degrees and sin of 45 degrees. Again we need to know the values of all these trigonometric functions. What are they? So sin 60 degrees known to us it is root 3 by 2. Cos 45 degrees known to us is 1 by root 2. Same way cos 60 degrees is known to us as half and sin 45 degrees is again 1 upon root 2. Again if you observe students, the denominator is common which is 2 root 2. The numerator will be added in that case. So in the next step I can simply write root 3 plus 1 upon 2 root 2 as the answer. Now one more example of tan 105 degrees. In the previous sum itself we wrote 105 as 60 plus 45 and we will do the same in this particular sum. So tan of we will write it as 60 plus 45 which is in the form of tan A plus B. Now what is the formula for tan A plus B? Tan A plus B is nothing but tan A, tan, tan A plus tan B upon 1 minus tan A tan B. So this is the formula where we will use in place of A 60 degrees. In place of B we will use 45 degrees. So let us just substitute this in the next step. We will get tan 60 plus tan 45 upon 1 minus tan 60 into tan 45. Now again we need to know the values of tan 60 and tan 45. Very simple for us. How much is tan 60? We know very well tan 60 is root 3 and tan 45 is 1. Let us just substitute that in the next step. So we will have root 3 plus 1 upon 1 minus root 3 into 1. Now in the denominator we can write 1 minus root 3. Numerator we can write as 1 plus root 3. So effectively what we can write in the next step is 1 plus root 3 upon 1 minus root 3. That is how we have finished the four sections of this particular sum. Now let us take a small test to see our understanding of these formulas and the sums based on them. I have a very simple question for you and the question goes like this, sin 15 degrees is equal to. You have 40 seconds to solve this particular sum. Let us see the correct answer and the correct answer is root 3 minus 1 upon 2 root 2. Let us just see how to solve this. Now students, sin 15 degrees if I have to take, sin 15 degrees can be written as sin of 45 degrees 
minus 30 degrees. So that will become sin 45 cos 30 minus cos 45 sin 30. Now we need to substitute the values. So 45 degrees for sin will give me 1 by root 2 and cos 30 we know the value. How much is cos 30 students? It is root 3 by 2. Same way cos 45 1 by root 2 and sin 30 is half. Now if you see again the denominator 2 root 2. So what you will get as a common denominator and the numerator will become root 3 minus 1. So we have root 3 minus 1 upon 2 root 2. Thank you so much.